So we met Angeline at the Children's Hospital after she'd undergone completion pneumonectomy for a complication of sepsis in her right lung. So as a child, she had had her right upper lobe taken out for complications of cystic fibrosis. And then the remainder of her right lung over time became more and more of a source of infection. So a decision was made to try to do a completion pneumonectomy to actually take away the shunt to try to maximize performance in her left cystic fibrosis lung, which was doing reasonably well. It's very uncommon, yes. I only know of one other case report that's out there. Certainly we've examined, I think every place that's had several hundred transplants, every surgeon has done several hundred of these, has seen patients with single pneumonectomy spaces and been asked, you know, could we do something about it? As a general rule, once you've lost the cavity, unless there's a tissue expander in there, it's generally something that you cannot get back into the pneumonectomy space because as it obliterates and collapses, it's impossible physically to reimplant the lung because you've lost the physical space in which the lung is planted. So it's a complicated and it's an unusual problem. She underwent a pneumonectomy just to try to reduce the frequency of infections, uh, but unfortunately was left with, uh, unfortunately had respiratory compromise at that point, such that she wasn't able to breathe on her own without assistance. And being left with one lung that suddenly became infected really left her with no good pulmonary function or respiratory function. ECMO for her was her life support. Uh, for the duration that she used, uh, that, that she was with us in the ICU. We occasionally had to change the device for a variety of reasons, and it was uh, very scary at times. Uh, you know, during the device, the blood flow from the device essentially stops, and uh, her blood pressure would drop, her heart rate would drop, oxygen levels in her blood would drop, and you know, there were times when it would cause her heart rate to start to slow and don't think it ever occasion. I don't think it ever fully stopped, but you know, it's, it was a scary 20, 30 seconds before everything would kick in again.